Welcome to Fintech Engineering Insights. I'm Vasil from Insart. And today I will tell you a short story about how two re-engineering strategies helped fintech companies overcome technical debt. So have you ever heard the term technical debt? So technical debt is like a car falling apart, but you keep driving it because you can't afford to fix it. The more you drive, the worse it gets and eventually you will be stuck on the side of the road. That's why it's important to have a plan to deal with technical debt. So technical debt is like a credit card with a high interest rate. It accumulates, slows down development and impacts the company's bottom line. So folks, I have seen many companies struggle with technical debt, but there are two major engineering strategies that can help you. So strategy number one, don't spend time on technical debt and earn money. The first strategy is to focus on delivering features that clients need and not to spend too much time on technical debt. This can uh, help fintech companies establish themselves in the market quickly, win new clients and earn revenue. However, it can lead to accumulating technical debt that slows the company down in the long run. So strategy number two is about gradually decoupling the monolithic application. So the second strategy is to gradually decouple your application into a service-oriented architecture. And this approach can help fintech companies avoid accumulating technical debt and improve software architecture over time. It can be challenging to balance feature development and technical debt elimination, but it can help fintech companies scale more effectively and avoid a complex system. Re-engineering can be like trying to untangle a bunch of wires behind your TV. You start pulling on one cord and suddenly the whole thing comes crashing down. But don't worry, as you see, there are ways to approach re-engineering that can help you avoid a tangled mess. So, for example, one of our clients uh, had an outdated legacy system that was affecting their ability to scale their business. After conducting a technical audit, we recommended a full system rewrite with a calculated cost-benefit analysis and predictable ROI, which included developing a modern SaaS version with the modern UI UX and migrating to the cloud. So we worked closely with the client to design and develop a new system architecture that was more flexible, scalable, and maintainable. So utilizing modern technologies and software development best practices, we delivered a new system that uh, met the client's business needs and positioned them for future growth. So another client approached us with, then, uh, with an outdated system that hindering their ability to innovate and scale. So after conducting technical discovery and audit, we recommended a re-engineering strategy that focused on modernizing the current architecture instead of doing a full rewrite. So by decoupling legacy monolithic architecture into a set of services, upgrading front-end and back-end frameworks to newer versions, and optimizing several critical queries to database, we were able to eliminate technical debt and improve system performance without disrupting the existing operations. So our client was able to keep up their system up to date and achieve their business goals without the time and resource costs of a full rewrite. And I will tell you, re-engineering can be like trying to assemble IKEA furniture. It's a puzzle that can be frustrating, but once you get it right, it's beautiful. So technical debt can harm your fintech company's growth and profitability. By adopting range engineering strategies, you can overcome technical debt, avoid legacy code, and improve software architecture. So don't let technical debt keep you standing on the side of the road. Remember, these two range engineering strategies and drive your fintech company towards success. And thank you for watching Fintech Engineering Insights. Like, subscribe and tell us what your experience fighting technical debt and share this video with your peers so take care and see you in the next episodes thank you